Former employee of Costco here to share 17 shopping secrets and tips to help you save money at Costco. We have a lot to cover, so intro over, let's get into it. Number one, we gotta cover the price tag secrets and the meanings behind the end cents, symbols, and colors behind the price tags. If you have watched any of my Costco Shop With Me videos, you likely know many of these, and also, hi, welcome back. I hope you are having a blessed day. But we gotta cover the basics for the newbies here, so let me cover the price tags real quick. So secret one, sub point A, a generic boring looking tag ending in 99 cents is regular price. When items are on sale from the coupon boat, they'll also end in 99 cents, but the price tags show that it's on sale and shows the dollar savings as well. But a sale price isn't necessarily the lowest price they will ever run on an item. That is reserved for clearance pricing and that can look a couple different ways. If it ends in 97 cents, that's a clearance price. Another form of clearance pricing you may see is a tag that ends in zero cents. That means it's a clearance specific to that store or a manager special. Likely they overestimated how popular that item would be at the store and they have an abundance of product. The discounts are usually pretty deep, so get excited when you see a price tag ending in zero zero or eight eight. Then we come to the little asterisk in the upper right corner that you may see on some price tags. This signifies that it's an item that will be going away. So if it's an item you love and a good price, stock up before it's gone. Next thing to note on price tags, going back to sale items, anytime you see a sale price tag, there will be a little date on the price tag that lets you know exactly when that item is not going to be on sale anymore. So if you're pondering on whether or not to buy an item that's on sale, you know exactly when you need to make your decision in order to get that deal. Last note on price tags before we move on, most of the tags in store are white, but if you notice any green price tag, that just signifies that it's an organic item. Next thing to know at Costco is you don't need the coupons to get the member savings discounts. Once upon a time, you had to have the coupons to get the deals, but now it comes off automatically. But the coupon books that are now called member saving books are great to have. I think I feel an abnormal but, but still healthy amount of joy when I get my member savings booklet in the mail. I love flipping through the pages and seeing what the upcoming deals are and planning my future visits. If you're not getting the member savings booklets mailed to you, go to the Costco website and they have a digital version on there. Then the next time you go in store, go to the guest services desk and have them update your address in the system. That way those books will start coming to you. Speaking of coupons, it's good to know that Costco does not accept manual manufacturer coupons. However, a lot of people don't know that you can download the Ibotta app onto your phone and you can get some cashback savings there at Costco. There aren't as many cashback savings on the app at Costco versus what they offer for Target, Walmart, and tons of other grocery stores, but it's the only place I have ever found that has some sort of deals for Costco specifically. With all this talk about coupons and deals, if you don't have time to look through the coupon booklet or look through any app and you have limited time to shop in store, you just wanna make sure you see as many of the deals as you walk through the store as possible, it's good to have a general understanding of the layout of the store. Fortunately, Costco's not trying to keep a lot of their deals secret. So a lot of the member savings and deals are going to be in pretty obvious places. There's always going to be a bunch at the front front entrance main run. They always like putting a lot of them on the front main end caps that you walk by as you walk through the store. Yes, if you're in a hurry and you're not walking in line, you're going to miss some of the deals, but roughly 50% of the deals are at the main run at the front of the store and on main front end caps. They wanna make it really obvious. They purchase the product knowing that it's on sale and it's going to have a higher sales volume from customers, so they want you to see it and buy it. The next secret, that Costco doesn't want everyone to know is that you don't even have to buy a membership to shop at Costco. If you don't think you'll get your money's worth out of a Costco membership, you can have a friend or family member buy you a Costco shop card and just pay them back. The Costco shop card is essentially just a Costco gift card. Buy whatever you want as long as you have enough money loaded onto the card. You can also still shop on Costco.com without a membership, but you won't be able to get sale pricing on member savings deals and coupons 
Plus, you'll be charged an extra 5% non-member fee on everything except for pharmacy prescriptions. Which, speaking of that, you also don't need a membership to get your prescription filled at Costco. It's open to everyone. I recommend using GoodRx to see which pharmacies have the best prices in your area because sometimes Costco isn't going to have the best pharmacy prices. But if it does, just know that you, your friends, your family don't need a membership to get your prescription filled there. Another area of the store you don't need a Costco membership to shop is any alcohol or if they have a separate Costco liquor store. These are the specific states where this loophole applies. So if you're gonna have a big summer barbecue and the person in charge of drinks doesn't have a Costco membership, but you want them to be able to get those savings, let them know that they can go to the the Costco liquor store because it'll save them a ton of money. The Kirkland brand liquors are great. From what I've heard, I'm not that much of a drinker, but, but I know some drinkers and they love the Kirkland brand. Word on the street is that Kirkland varieties are dupes for a lot of big brand names. Last way to shop at Costco without a membership is via Instacart. Now, I don't recommend using Instacart to shop at Costco unless you like paying more for groceries because they add on all kinds of fees. Next Costco tip to save you money, the monthly members only booklet is not the end all be all when it comes to sales in store and online. There are Costco warehouse days that happen during the week that are deeper discounts on items outside of the booklet, random events like tech days, home savings events, holiday events, and more. They got every excuse in the book to offer us a sale and entice us to go shop there. So if you wanna see all the different sales that are going on before you go into stores, if you go to the costco.com homepage, they'll let you know if there's a warehouse days going on, any other special savings event going on on that main page as you scroll through, I don't even know what it's called, the main head run. But something to keep in mind in regards to my last tip, if you see an online sales event when you are scrolling through to see the deals, I would not recommend buying any home furniture online at Costco. Furniture prices have gone up a lot at Costco in the last few years. I mean, everything has gone up in price in the last few years, but furniture especially, I have noticed, is a lot more expensive at Costco, especially online. If you look at what Costco charges, charges for their furniture in store, it is drastically less money than what they charge for the similar or like item online. So if you see furniture in store that looks nice and you like it, that sells out quick. You need to jump on it and get a truck and haul it home right now. You may see online only savings on furniture that are like $1,000 off. It looks like such a good deal, but even at the sale price, it's still typically a lot more expensive than what you would pay in store for that item. But secret number seven, which is maybe tied to why furniture at Costco has gotten so much more expensive in recent years, but Costco has the best return policy on the planet. Basically, it is a lifetime return policy. You could have bought eggs freaking two years ago, forgot them in the broken refrigerator in your garage, and when you declutter and find it, technically you could go to Costco and return it, and they would have to take it back, no questions asked. I mean, definitely don't abuse the policy like that. We don't want them to take the policy away. I am just making a point. When I worked at Costco, we weren't allowed to question returns as long as it wasn't an excluded item like electronics. Part of the benefit of being a member at Costco was was the very lenient return policy, and that return policy includes furniture. So I got some stories, y'all, on some of the things that were returned in the years that I worked there. But despite all that, surprisingly, the return policy still stands. There are some exclusions like electronics. I will have them listed on the screen here. If you really wanna know all the nitty gritty details, just screenshot right now, but moving on. Next Costco savings tip is they have a great price adjustment policy that you should definitely take advantage of. If you buy an item within 30 days prior to a change of price, it's eligible for a price adjustment. Just go to guest services, let them know which item you're talking about, and they will refund you the difference.
price. And next Costco secret related to returns and price adjustments is you do not need your receipt to return or have an item price adjusted for you. As a member, when you're checking out, they scan your card and when you complete the purchase, the entire purchase, the receipt you could say is logged into your membership. So let's say you want to return something a year or two after you bought it, go to member services, they'll scan your membership card and they'll be able to look up that purchase and complete the return, give you back your money. I know I talked previously in the video about being able to shop at Costco without a membership card, but if you are someone who often gets buyer's remorse and also often loses receipts, <laughs> having all of your purchases saved on your membership card comes in handy when you inevitably want to return something you bought. Tip number 11, even though electronics doesn't technically qualify for the forever return policy, they are still a great deal because when you buy tech at Costco, you get free Costco concierge. It's free technical support on your item and you get an extended two year warranty from the date of purchase on TVs, projectors, computers, major appliances, and water heaters as a member. Next random Costco secret slash judo mind trick that they play on us. Have you ever noticed when you go to Costco, you may see something you really like and then you go back a week later and that item's not in that exact place anymore, but as you meander through the store, you eventually see it in a different location. Yes, they do that on purpose. It's called a treasure hunt. People, they want the store to feel like a treasure hunt, to play with our little childlike minds. So every night, once they close, the after hour workers move random things around the store. So every day the store looks a little bit different, more likely to meander around the store. And when you meander around the store, you're inevitably spending more time in the store. And when you're spending more time in the store, you're inevitably going to buy more <laughs> in the store. So cost Costco's moving everything around to trick us into buying more. Next Costco secret that really it's a lot of big brand names don't want people to realize is that the Costco Kirkland private label brand is a dupe for a lot of name brand items. They will have items manufactured in the same facilities as big name brands. And it's not just Costco that does this. I used to work at Target too. I have a tips video that you can watch after this about Target secrets to name a few items where this applies. The Kirkland brand diapers are dupes of the Huggies brand diapers. Nearly identical, just different patterns on the diapers. I compared the two side by side, gosh, probably two years ago in a video, they looked the same. The Kirkland batteries are dupes of Duracell. There were all the alcohol dupes that I shared earlier. Overall, I treat Kirkland as if it's a big name brand because it has rarely disappointed me, if ever. I don't think it's ever disappointed me. I can't even, I can't remember if it has. It probably has. I tend to complain a lot, but I probably were Returned it if I was disappointed. So what's the phrase? All that is well ends well. All that ends well is well. All that ends well is well. Next Costco tip and suggestion is to check out one of the Costco business centers. You do not need a business membership to go into one of the business centers. There aren't a ton of locations, but they have a different assortment at the business centers to help out various types of businesses. They also have all the individually wrapped bulk items you could want. If you prefer that for packing lunches, as well as deals on bulk meats and stuff for big events. I have a Costco Business Center Shop With Me video that you should watch after this video if you're interested in seeing what they have. Next area you always want to check out and see what's new is their assortment of gift cards. They have a wide variety of gift cards to restaurants, entertainment venues, and more that can save you up to 20% off retail price at these locations. To me, this is a no-brainer. If I'm already planning on going to a restaurant or I frequent a restaurant often, might as well buy the gift card that's 25% off at Costco and basically get 25% off my meal. And on top of that, I have a Costco executive membership. So when I make these purchases on these gift cards, I get 2% cash back. So it's even a little bit more savings on top of that. Now there isn't a loophole. You can't get 2% cash back buying Costco shop cards over and over, but on the gift cards outside of the Costco shop card, you get the 2% cash back. 
Which brings me to my next point, which again, this is not sponsored, even though I wish it was, because I have three boys whose appetites are just growing out of control, like I'm getting hit with double inflation. Anyways, my next tip is to get to the Costco Executive Membership. I know, it's $120, which is $60 more than the basic membership, but you get 2% cash back on your purchases, so as long as you're spending $500 a month, you will at least pay for your membership, and any dollar over the 500 that you spend per month technically you're making money on your cash back I I struggle to say making money because I don't want anyone to overspend looking for their cash back it maxes out at a thousand dollars cash back which if you somehow max it out it means you spent over fifty thousand dollars at Costco in a year which is an amount of disposable income at Costco I cannot comprehend but I digress the reason I say everyone should get an executive membership if they shop at Costco is because if you spend more money and you get more cash back, then great, you're getting extra cash back. But if you don't spend enough to earn basically back your membership through the cash back, when you get your cash back reward, if it is less than $120, you can take it to member services and they will refund you the difference. So let's say you only got $80 cash back. They would give you $40 back. So you essentially didn't pay any more than a regular gold star membership. So really there's no risk. As long as you go to guest services, they'll refund you the difference if you didn't earn back your $120. And if you take advantage of getting your insurance at Costco or you book a vacation with Costco Travel, you can get deeper savings there with an executive membership. That could again help it pay for itself. And side note, I booked a Disney cruise through Costco Travel in 2018 and I thought it was well worth it. I got a few hundred dollars in Costco shop cards for booking it through Costco Travel and the overall price was the lowest I could find. There were some that were just as low, but I didn't also get a few hundred dollars in Costco shop cards. Next tip, if you are still watching this and you somehow don't have a membership and you're just still watching me talk about Costco right now, first off, I love you. Secondly, this next tip could be for you because you can buy a membership for yourself or your friend at a discount. Groupon sometimes has $40 cash back when you buy your membership there. It is a seasonal deal, so you may not see it right now at this moment. And if you don't, another option, you can get the Dosh app linked below. Last I saw, they had a $20 cash back when you bought a Costco membership on that app. Like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with friends, enemies, whoever you know who likes Costco. And if you want to keep hanging out, I have Costco shop with me videos floating over the screen right here. I also have Target secret videos as I worked there as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.